Hello and welcome back to the Desert Stories. This is Sunita Sharma. Let's have a look at the headlines. The Ala Malik Tisad Wala Mal or the World of Economy and Business magazine today organized the 10th edition of Oman Forum. The opening ceremony of the event was held under the auspices of Dr. Rehma Ibrahim Al Meheruki, Minister of Higher Education, Research and Innovation. The forum discussed a spectrum of topics, including strategic procedures and the regulations. taken by the sultanate of oman to meet its short term needs and the importance of transforming to an economy based on innovation among other topics the ua is a leader in the participation of women in governments and the multilateralism said the executive secretary of the un capital development fund noting that 9 out of 33 ministers of the ua government are women in an exclusive interview with the emirate news agency preeti sinha stated that the future of the government will not only focus on the role of the women but also on the youth as their growing population has to join parliaments and guide governance in the future we are moving towards a changing world order and the UAE will be a focal point the executive secretary of the UN capital development fund told on the sidelines of the world government summit His Excellency Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdul Rahman Al Thani met on Wednesday with His Excellency State Councillor and Minister of Foreign Affairs of the People's Republic of China Wang Yi on the sideline of the third meeting of the Foreign Ministers of Afghanistan's neighboring countries currently held in China. During the meeting, they reviewed bilateral cooperation relation between the two countries and the development in Afghanistan in addition to a number of regional and international issues. Of of the common interest His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa the supreme commander visited to the Royal Bahrain Naval Force His Majesty the King was welcomed by Bahrain Defence Force Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmad Al Khalifa His Majesty was accompanied by Lieutenant Colonel His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa commander of the Royal Guard Special Force and captain His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa His Majesty the King was also welcomed by Minister of Defence Affairs Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Al Numi BDF Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Tayyab bin Saqir Al Numi and RBNF commander and officers That's all for today stay tuned for more desert stories till then take care thank you